All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS. Citations to you, Yahweh, around the world is teaching truth, putting your lives on the line for it, and Shalom to you, serious Aqua. My name is Maya Kaala, Bon Gad, with Chicago branch, Ray Millstone. I'd like to make a disclaimer that we are not black. Hebrew is lights, we are his lights. There is lights all the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and uh, speck of birds, scattered abroad. Speck of birds are his lights who so look like other nations, but their father's paternal bloodline go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. We're not fide with any black identity string groups. We're not fide with any Islamic groups. We're not fide with any other Islamic groups. All right, and again, black is a color, not a nationality. All right. So, so you the hell uh, the hypocrisy, hypocrisy of um, Ebro and uh, Jamil Hill. All right. And so he made this statement that then that um, so called black man, there's like man wants to be like. Uh, Esau, all right, was well, just nothing new, nothing new at all, man. All right, this has been going on for the last 500 some years, man. All right, um, and our people being conditioned and brainwashed to think like Esau over the years, you know, so they, they do it subliminally, all right, and then you have a few who, who do it out, <laughs> um, just do it willingly, man, all right. But it's not many as as this 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 hypocrite say, man. All right, and by him doing that, man, he's basically uh uh he's supporting, all right, um, he's supporting Edomite inferiority, what I call uh what Salak with um people in recall white supremacy, all right. Because if it was if it was supremacy, it was so supreme about us, so uh, or he, or Esau so superior. Why they got to lie about history of himself and of uh, the so-called Negro Latino Native American if he was so supreme, all right? And why they got to tell lies to keep this system going, all right? So that's why this Edomite inferiority, all right. Because he knows he is inferior and he got to keep up his lies to keep his system float, float, all right, afloat. All right. <clears throat> yeah, Salak, I just woke up, all right. Um, I'll have to lay what he said, all right. This raw uh, symptom G, she got a clip from one of the shows, all right. Um, let me get right this right here before I play that clip. Um, this is kind of COVID, right? Uh, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of copyright 1970 since allows me for fair use purpose purposes such as criticism, comment, news report, scholarship, and research. All right. Ice Cube. Well, I was just specifically talking about, you know, if we're talking about Diddy or we're talking about Ice Cube, black men will be like, look, it's white supremacists everywhere. What's up with this money? Which I think, you know, a lot of women ain't falling for that. Some do, that's, though. That's interesting you say that, because you see Jamel, Jamel Hill had an interesting tweet last yeah. night. And that she was on it. it. And she was basically like, are, are black men and black women in a different place politically? Like, yeah, she was like, it seems real? like they're very far apart. Is this real? And it's because I believe that too many black men want to be white men. What? Yes, I said Wait, hold it. Hold on, hold on. Well, I see. You're gone too far, That's bitch. Interesting take you it. think you're, you're going to be a far. white man? I would. That's a that's a huge blanket statement. You think you think that money Big is blanket. coming to you and they gonna treat you exactly the same just because you got some bread? Nah. Black men want to be white men? I said too many. Too many? Too many. 
I've not heard that ever in my life. Well, you heard it here on Ebro in the morning. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe the way you're wording it, Ebro, is not. It sounds you're a saying, wild. But you're saying people Listen, want money. They think money's going to solve the problem. I said what I said. I said what I said. It's an interesting opinion. You think opinion. your it's bank account opinion. being equal with a white man will okay. get you the same treatment that that white man get? So you voting like a white man. Ah. Uh, too many black men want to be white men. I said what I said. I mean, that's a nice controversial opinion. Well, as a white man who wants to be a black man, I personally have never heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sees that every day. I completely understand what you will say. Mm. You validate yourself on white male standards. Skin care is very important. All right. It was nothing new all up, you know, the men and women and women of the nation of Israel, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, speckled birds, they all value themselves on Esau's system, all right, because they've been brainwashed, all right, and they do it subliminally, uh, all right, but not not um, uh, purposely, man, all right, now you have a few among us that do that, man, all right, so his, his statement is false, man, all right, and it's basically, uh, by him saying that he's he's villainized the Israelite man. All right. And so did uh uh Jamil Hill, all right. But she says that the Israelite man wants to be part of the um the um Edomite inferiority, all right, what she say is um but say she says white patriarchal system, aka white supremacy, was actually Edomite inferiority system. All right. Okay, and she just say just she, she said just the just the um um she said just the so called black man is like man, but you also had there is like woman. All right, they also won't be a part of it, man. All right. Another thing she said is, uh, let's see, Jamil. All right. What she said a couple months before that. Uh, what she did, her actions. All right, Jamil. Yeah. Said, all right. You see right here, Jamil Hill's tweet, straight black men out of white people, of black people. All right. Jamil Hill co-signed straight black men of white people of the black community. All right. So why they got to be straight? That uh, straight is like men are a threat to the is like nation. All right. I'll call ourselves a community real nation. All right. Consists of 12 tribes. All right. All right. So, uh you know, so it's the same thing that Esau pushed, man. He um, feminized the Israelite man. All right, pushed this thing. Uh, it pushed that he's a threat to uh, uh, his nation. All right, and then Esau. Um, I'm talking about Esau, the so-called white man. All right. And then he puts the Israelite like woman, the so-called black woman, all right? I'm talking about all 12 tribes, including the Latino woman and the so-called Latino woman and the Native American woman, all right? He puts them on a high pedestal and pumps in their head that um, they should be leading, all right? And not submitting to um, uh, the Israelite like man, all right? All right. That's what Esau pushed through his system. All right. And that's how that's how he did. That's why when he came up with the um, you know, the welfare welfare been around. Uh, I forgot what year when it came out, but it's been around since the nineteen hundreds anyway. 
All right, so when our people started getting on it, around the 50s and 60s, that's what I'm thinking about, 50s, 60s, 70s, around that area, right, between those years, Esau made a rule that that the Israelite man couldn't be in a home with the Israelite woman. All right. And then I remember in the 1990s, Esau was uh, pushing their propaganda that the um, that there is like um, uh, there is like um, man, you know, it's like man from the tribe of Judah, so-called Negro man, well, nothing and about nothing, man. All right, and um, a lot of people been brainwashed, but Esau had cold signing on him, man. All right, which made th things uh, difficult, man, for the Judite man, all right, the so-called um, black man, all right, young black man. I remember that, man, all right. I had to, uh, I had to go through that, that hell with my, some, uh, some of my own, uh, the people, I grew, the people I knew and, and some of my family, man, I had to battle that, man, all right. It got so bad, one of my family members said that uh, she wouldn't hire me, man. And she was a manager. She was a manager of a, of a, um, of a food production plant that make food for the school system, right? All right, so, she, you know, she hired, uh, you know, she, she hired a female member of my family but wouldn't hire me, man, all right? And a female member of my family, she didn't graduate from high school, man. And lied about it, lied about that she was going to graduate, man. All right. So you could see how what come out people's mouth, man. It could it could um affect um your nation, man. Because we are the nation, we are the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. And the things that's coming out Jamil Hill and Ebro mouth, man, and how they word word in it is basically working for Edomite inferiority, so-called white supremacy system. So basically, being hypocrites. Now, I'm going to play uh, something. That, let me see. Uh, let me get this scripture before I play that other video. All right. It said Matthew chapter 7, verse 5. It says, Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, then thou shalt see clear to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Yeah, man. All right. So, Jamil Hilly and uh, Abro, Ebro. Whatever the heck his name is, all right? You have <laughs> you don't got no beam, man. You got two railroad big railroad trees in your eyes, man. Cause you being hypocrites. Alright. Uh I don't know what brother vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't see a, a see your brothers run to go vote for Donald Trump. Uh, most of our people, they democratic, all right? Then you got some of our people that don't give a damn. They know that part, part, now they people, our, our people waking up realize that politics are a bunch of BS, all right? It don't matter who in the office, man, you know? Let me see. Where that video clip, all right, all right? There go him, he that video he mocking Fadji and Rona, all right. You can see the video, play that video yourself and see what he says, all right. But he accused, but he <laughs> wants to say the average is like man wants to be like Esau, but he's doing the same thing what Esau does, and he pushing Esau's uh, inferiority system by his actions. All right, so watch this, what Jamil Hill says in this clip. It's time to step up, prep up. Step up, prep up. To help keep you free from the risk of HIV. From the makers. 
take memes and snippets and all right so I'm gonna play this in all right so in this clip she um she made a reference some Boston Celtics and Hitler which was stupid on part all right because she knew who she was working for anyway you know all right and she's a grown woman she should have thought two or three times knowing who she worked for not you know not to say that all right so that's all her own fault anyway but uh all right so why should she say in this clip and this clip right here what she about to say and by him not checking check her what she say their actions all right it's a uh it's support eating my inferiority all right and also they've been hypocritical when they say that um the average is like man so-called black man wants to be like esau and don't want to dismantle esau's inferiority system all right community there was a level of anti-Semitism that's kind of tolerated, if not encouraged, in our community. And this is not to say that black people have cornered the market on anti-Semitism. That's clearly not true. Okay, so I don't want people to mistake that I'm saying black people are especially worse when it comes to uh, anti-Semitic uh, viewpoints and language and that sort of thing. But there is an undercurrent that is acceptable. And I think a lot of it comes from the fact that we start playing the oppression Olympics with everybody, meaning that we, of course, we have been through hundreds of years of oppression. We're still under oppressive forces. White supremacy is real. That being said, you cannot use that as a way to excuse marginalization of other marginalized groups or, for that matter, as I found, that there's a lot of historically inaccurate information that is floating around our community about Jewish people that begins to be used as gospel and as talking points where people think they're saying something that's supposed to uplift us, but it's usually at the harm of this community, especially as you mentioned, Ebro, when we start talking about who lays claim to being the first Hebrew and all that, like when we start getting to those areas, things get real wild, right? And uh, most of us, if we're being completely honest, um, do not have the historical context or knowledge to engage thoughtfully in those discussions. We don't. Most of us don't even understand Israel and Palestine. We do not. So to then take memes and snippets and bits of information that are a lot of times anti-Semitic and try to make a larger point, we just get ourselves in a lot of trouble for no reason. Because I'm sure when Deshaun Jackson posted that fake quote. Now, why he thought posting anything from Hitler would ever be a starting point of a, any conversation, I don't know. But All right, so you're talking about they you want to talk about Deshaun quote that uh, quote about Hitler saying that the so-called Negroes in America are the, the original Jews. All right, now, I don't know for sure that quote, who put that in, anything like that, but the truth is that the so-called Negroes in America are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. All right, and there's many facts that there's many facts that the um, that the Jewish people had uh, their hands their hands in the in the slave trade. All right, uh, there's evidence for that. All right. Okay, um, Jews and slave trade, all right? They're talking about Jewish, all right, because original Jews, uh, you know, are the so called Negroes in America, so called West Indians, so called Haitians, all right? They make up Judah, Benjamin, Levi, all right? Slave trade. All right, so there's many, uh, Articles, there's books about that. All right. All right. And they was involved. They was involved in it, man. All right. All right. 
a matter of fact, the Holocaust was um, supported, financially supported by their own people in Germany, man. These are uh, Jewish people, man, the Amalekites, right? Why well, you think you got people in the some of people in the South, they last name Frazier or got um Berg in it, all right? <laughs> Stein, all right. So if you go right here, the uh, I think this this is the name of the I'm trying to get the name of this Jewish slave ship name. Let me see if I get that. All right, this is the history that Esau wants to have. All right, he had his hand in the cookie jar. All right, he'll go right here. Well, the streets right here, man. There's all the names and everything. All right. All right. This is this is not this is something this is nothing uh, made up anything or you know. Then right as she said, oh, we don't have a we don't understand pal pal uh. Palestine and uh, and um, Israel, um, you know all the information. A lot of people waking up to the fact the other is like, all I gotta do is just Google, um, Google the founder of the state of Israel. All right, when you look up Israeli, uh, it tells you sits in a modern day state of Israel. You look at the word Israel like means ones connect to Jacob. You basically mean one descent for Jacob. It's two different things, man. And a lot of people they waking up and they finding out, man. And they comparing the founding of the state of Israel, nineteen um let me see, nineteen forty eight. They comparing it to what the scripture said, found out it's not matching up. All right. So they do got a leg to stand on, man. Then you go to one of the, the Jewish people's site, all right? And the word Jewish means something like a Jew, all right? The word Jew means one who descends from Judah, one from the southern kingdom of Judah, all right? So that's how you know the difference, all right? Then you go right here, you go to what? Nigeria, all right? On their own site, their own Jewish people site, and they're going to tell you who you are, all right? It says, according to oral tradition, the Igbo have resided in Igbo land, a region of modern-day Nigeria, for over 1,500 years. Before that tradition asserts, they were migrants from ancient Israel. There is this anomaly theories that explain from whom the Igbo are descend, descended and how they came to reside in Nigeria. One theory contends that the Igbo are descendants of the lost tribes. All right. It said, Paul... Uh, Paul Obiani, a history professor who himself Igbo say that evil Jews and ancient Israelites share a cultural trait resemblance. Alright. It says, but that there is little established historical evidence of any connection to the um, Israelites. Alright. You know, which they, they are the Israelites. Alright. So you connection. So within Igbo, there is this three ethnic sub identity. They are Bene Gath, Bene Zebulon, Bene Manasseh. I right, especially Gad, Zebulon, and Manasseh. Alright. You also had Judah among them. You also have um you have Issachar, you have um you have Tribe of Dan, you have Natali, uh you have I you have Asher among them, you have um What's on? You had Benjamin, you had Levi, all right? I'm going to skip down here, all right? And uh, I'm going to right? read this. Persecution and trade have been made 
persecution and trade have been the major influence factors in how Jews migrate to Africa during the period of Islam persecution. For the purpose of trade, Jews moved from communities in Egypt, Ethiopia, Tunisia, and Morocco. Some of the people snatched from Morocco. All right. It says um, to more remote regions of North and West Africa. All right. Let me go down here. It says right here, it says um, the decline of Jewish communities. Tell me it's like community. The decline of Jewish communities of West Africa can be traced to the arrival of Muslim invaders in 14th, 15th century. All right. North and West African Jews banded with other low communities of Berbers, Christian, and Greeks to ward off the invaders, but eventually succumbed it. Many were forced to convert to Islam. Right? That's why you had a lot of people in um uh, people in Islam, they have Arabic names, all right? But some of their names uh, are actually Israelite names, just in Arabic, all right? I'm going to show you a couple of minutes. It said, many forced to convert to Islam, sold into slavery, or simply massacred. In the face of this persecution, rich traditions such as Torah were lost. The Ebo, Bene Israel, was actually born Yashallah, all right? Bon me son, Yashallah means he, prince of power, all right? That's how he correctly said. That's what it means. All right, it said, though having no written evidence, their Jewish heritage maintain a strong oral tradition and practice many Jewish customs in secret. All right, records of these medieval Jewish communities found in Timbuktu, Mali, is some elaborate, indicate the presence of Jewish families in the region right before, uh, before the arrival of Islam in 1300 CE. In modern day Nigeria, the Igbo. Ben and Israel, perhaps a normal cousin born of Jewish tradition. Males are circumcised the eighth day of life. Women are separated during their menstrual cycles. The crossbreeding of plants and animals forbidden as in the consumption of non kosher animals, even young Kapoor Sukkah, are celebrated. There has been a resurgence of Jewish learning among the Igbo, Ben and Israel. All right, but the point is, a lot of um, so called African Americans, they come from, they have come from all. Uh, the descendants of captives from Nigeria, which are the Igbo, the Yoruba. And then the other part is uh, Ghana. You got the Ashante, all right? The the uh, Iwa, Iwa, um, I pronounced that. The Iwa, Iwa tribe, all right? All right, the Uwe tribe. I believe that's pronounced, but it's called E W E. I Salak I uh, pronounced that in a while. All right. Then you had the Fonte, all right? All all are um. A con groups, man. All right. When you um, let me see. Uh, Cause I brought this out yesterday. Let me see. You go to uh, you know. So we do have a late to stay on about you. Um, um, denying that. All right, and calling yourself black, which is uh. Calling yourself black, man. Uh, you supporting eating my inferiority, cause black is a color, not a nationality, and thus that false term they put on our people during the 17th century, strip away their nationality and their 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 uh, human rights. That's why they get shot. That when they get shot down the street, and uh, you know their family take the the EMI cop or the EMI. Or their students that shot down our people, and even my so-called white people, they get away with it. Why? Because black is not a nationality, and it's not going to work in the judicial system, right? Because they, because uh, again, uh, it's black is not a nation. Nobody gonna come in and say, "Hey, I'm from the black land over uh, from overseas, and uh, you shot one of our one of our uh, citizens, and uh, you can't do that because we're part of the UN." All right, because you go to the UN, you're not gonna see Black Nation. All right, um, just right here in history, you said Arda Shante Akans. Because what do these uh, Jewish people say? Well, we are, uh, um, we we are we are the uh, descendants of Israel because we doing the customs, we we observing the Torah, we're not eating pork. We observe the Sabbath, and therefore, uh, we are connected to uh, ancient Israel, which they're not their uh, converts, all right? Uh, I believe between the 9th and 11th century, they converted to 
always a living, all right? If there is lights, okay? Then over the years, all right, we went through the curses, we lost our identity, and then they be start posing as us, all right? It's all through our history, man, all right? That's why they call themselves Jewish, because they know <laughs> they know they're not the original Jews. Or they say Israeli, because they know they're not the original Israelites, all right? It's, and they don't fit the prophecies that's in the scriptures, okay? All right, so right here it say Hebrewism of Africa. All right, this is a book by, um, all right, by um, Joseph Williams. All right, so he went over to Africa and he documented the different groups in Africa. All right, the groups that were brought over here to the Americas, and he documented they doing Israelite customs. All right, because they are the Israelites, and also they fit the scriptures. All right, it says somewhere here. It's, I, I read this song a while ago. Um, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, a day ago, all right? Maybe I'm going to read it again. It said, it's, it's a historical fact that the means majority of captive slave brought, the captive slave brought to America come from West Africa. All right, which is not true. Some of the people were brought from Europe, all right? The Jacobites, all right? Those were Israelites, the Jacobites from Ireland, Scotland, all right? Do your history research. That's our people, all right? It says, uh, although some were brought from East Africa, they were the minority. The West African tribal traditions that our forefathers were taken from had many ancient Hebrew customs in their culture. The Kafir, Bo, Grebo, Merbok, Mavumba, uh, Akra, Fonte, Akin, Yoruba, Congo, and Ashanti, right? Some of the Congo groups come with some their languages is actually Hebrew, broken Hebrew. Just to name a few of many sub Saharan nations that engaged in ancient Israelite nations. The rewrite Esau came in a sub Saharan. Because you, when you put subhuman, you think somebody less than. All right? It says right here, it says circumcision, the division of tribes in the 12, blood sprinkling upon their altars and doorposts. Who does that? The tribe of Levi. Marry other brother's wife after death. Separation and purification after childbirth. Uncleanness during childbirth. All right? Um, uncleanness during menstruation. New moon celebration plus many more. It says right here, among the Shante tribe, the priesthood is hereditary to a Pacific family, such as uh, such as a family has little or no possession and is exempt from all taxes, supplied with food, and advises the king. <laughs> all right. So they'll go back to Levitical priesthood, man. All right. And you can look up the um, you can look up the customs and the culture of these groups, man. And compare it to where ancient Israel, man, then compare the prophecies in Deuteronomy 28, all right? And they said, we are the Israelites, man. All right? So there's no, uh, we do have a foot sale. And by you saying that we don't, Jamil Hill, and by you, uh, Abram, Abram, by not checking her, all right? <laughs> you are being hypocritical, and you are being part of the Edomite inferiority system, or what people hear me call the white supremacy system or um, the white patri uh, patriarchal patriarchy, all right? Because he's not white. He's red, man, all right? His skin is not white like this background. His skin is translucent, showing flesh and blood, it's showing red, all right? Now, let's go into the other facts. Right, this is page 31 from um, Black Crescent. All right, it's a one of the best examples of Muslims for Zato present New World can be found in 1596-96 document, document from Havana, Cuba. It's self described as a count or for Zato oarsmen slaves, free oarsmen from the galley name Saint Augustine, taken from the manifest on 28, 28, 28 February. 1595 those who remain are serving your majesty some of them in labor crews at the city and the others afford 
aforementioned galley. Ten years earlier, the galley St. Augustine had arrived in Havana with 149 persons aboard and divided into the following categories. 18 for battles, the life, all right, but this will continue. Let's go to page uh, um, 32, all right. What is that? 20, 20, oh, it's a lot, but this is 29, all right. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Where is that page at? It's a lot. Yeah, this is the page I want. All right. And you can look at the names, man, on here. All right. These names are of Morisco, Moors, and Sephardi, and Portuguese Jews that was on this ship. You could clearly see. All right. This is page 32. All right. It said, whom they will neither sentence nor license, suggesting they were stowaways, seven feet oarsmen, 61 for Zados, with limited sentence, and 40. 40, uh, what is it? 45 more slaves of 149, nearly 30% 47 person had the names are either clearly conventionally Muslim, African, or both, all right? But all these names, some of these names are, are so far the Portuguese Jews, but these are the same people, just they different philosophy. The Morisco, the Moors, they to Islam, the number is like the Islam. The uh, Sephardi Jews and the Portuguese Jews was keeping the Torah, the, the, the Bible. All right, you can look at it. All right. Juan Garcia del Adrian, all right. Region that includes Seville. All right. Atia D. T. Las. <laughs> Armaco D. Morocco. Uh, Morocco's. Lorenzo Lannis Morisco. Mammy de Negro Ponte. All right, and some of the um, names that's in Arabic is actually yours like names. All right, Casamil de Fez from Morocco. All right, Omar Negro de Fez, Mammy de Rodez, uh, Albuquerque de Sila. All right, what's the other page? Right here, 33. Hamon de Salen, Perry Bosne, Dark Dargute de Monegro, Brandine Anadolia. Antonio Negro de Lisbia. All right, so you look up Lisbia, what it means? Lisbio, Lisbio. All right. This B.O. is a Portuguese surname, all right? Who's over there in uh, in Portugal, man? The the the, uh, the Portuguese Jews, all right? The Jews, man, all right? I mean, come on. Then you go to um, what is that? What is that page here? Right here, it says what? It says, in the new world that can be traced, our Gil Betron provides the contents for understanding Moorish experience. All right, they talk about Israelites, all right, because the Moors, the number confederacy of Jews, Christians, number of Israelites who believe in, in, um, that was into Christianity, all right. Um, and the Moors were it's like to Islam, all right. Then you had the Jews that was falling to Torah. Then you have um, you had the Syrians, you had some Egyptians, you have the Amazigh, the native people of Morocco, all right. And uh, if I not mention if I mentioned before, but if I didn't, all right, you had the Syrians, all right. That's what the Moors consist of, but the ones that were ruling Spain, the Portugal, and France. And it was a, those were Israelites. 
All right. And the goal of the prophecy in Revelation chapter 20, a thousand years. All right. Well, y'all shall put the chain around a dragon. All right. That's how people come to Russia during the dark age. That's why it's called the dark age. It's dark skinned people ruling who the dark skinned people. They was the Israelites. All right. It says uh, the more experience in America is nearly 100 years. After the fall of uh, Seattle in 1415, the Portuguese catch a Zafi, all right, or a Zafi in 1507, in what is now Morocco, north of Cape Gur, at Interport significance through the end of 16th century. Zafi supplied slaves as well as various um, um, merchandise. To Genusi, uh, Venezuela markets in the area, which uh, facilitated their movement to Mexico. Therefore, they therefore entered the New World under the destination Cafe. It said their introduction was limited to the century of conquest. The slaves taken in Zafi were a direct result of war against Islam, from which place the principal contingent were composed of natives from Morocco and Fez, Moors, Berbers, Jews, and Laurels who passed passed to the West Indies, all right, the Caribbean islands. With some of our people over here, they found the Caribbean islands, the tribe of Benjamin. All right, and um, um, uh, and then you have uh, on Haiti and Haiti, uh, you know, tribe Benjamin, you know, the Jamaicans, Barbadian, Trinidadians. All right, uh, um, what's an island over there? Um. You know, then you have um, Haiti, that's um, Levy, Trevor Levy, all right? It says, um, in the company of their settlers or conquerors on the common destination of white slaves, all right? <laughs> all right, was these people, they, they um, you know, I don't know why they did it, all right? But anyway, they're not white, these, these you know, nobody's a color white, Okay. Um, these were Israelites, and these were to uh, hide their their nationality. All right, they were just Israelites and just different philosophies. All right, the same people. Cause Berber on the Berber, you had you had Israelites that was living like Berbers, man. It was to Islam. All right, do your history. It says the need to establish the the uh, primacy, the primacy of Santa Fe Catholica led to the insurance of royal proclamation. To the um, pro the prohibit or expel the so-called esclavos blancos in 1501, 1506, 1509, 1530, 1531, 1543, 1550, whose very repetition reflects the lack of compliance as a result. Small groups of white slaves, Tommy the Israelites, enter to our country and America in general. All right, so there you go, another facts, man. All right, so you know we do got a leg to stand on. All right, then you go to uh, page 18 of the book, uh, African Servants. Um, Af uh, what does it say? Servants of the book named Servants of Allah, African Muslim. When we know our people wasn't Africans, these were Israelites that was to Islam, all right, due to being conquered. Also, some will really, uh, convert to Islam for financial reasons, for political financial reasons, right? And so I'm just willing to convert to it, man. That was prophesied in uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64 that we will uh, worship wood and stone, the other religions, Islam, Christianity, right? But it's interesting right here. It says, uh, this saying the same thing, all right? The day is prohibited, but right here, this is interesting. It says, um, after the first slave uprising in a new world led by the Wolof, Wolof are Israelites. In 1522, the royal decree, May 11, uh, what's that, 1526, specifically forbade the introduction of Jilof, Wolof, Negro Blacks from the Levant or the Middle East. Negro Blacks from the Levant or the Middle East. All right. And then you go ahead and you look at, um, do I got something else here? Here, let me see. Uh, Alright. I believe I had some more information in here somewhere. 
yeah, here we go right here. This from the same book. Um, this, this page 83, 82, 83. All right. So right here, you know, we're not Africans. It says right here, so I'm going to say it said, the Israelites who could choose their new names sometimes did so in a way to let them keep in link with their past, with their Israelite heritage. Job ben Solomon, in one of these inter-examples of Israelite retention and name and practice, he was called uh, Simon Bas Massa, but he was known as Job ben Solomon, which was in, in the translation, his Senegalese Muslim name, Ayuba. Suleiman Solomon. It was just he had a it was like name, it was just in Arabic, all right? In similar way, Muslim enslaved Ibrahima Abid al Ranha gave uh gave the name Sulim uh Suleiman uh, or Suleiman to his sons, the boys were called Solomon. It's very likely that many named Moses or Moses 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 in French, Solomon or Solomon. Abraham, Jacob, there go right here, Jacob, Adam, David, were from Musa, Suleiman, Abraham, Ayuba, Adama, which is actually Lashwan Kodash, ancient Hebrew, and um, Dada, all right, which is uh, Dawad, in Lashwan Khan, or, or people say David, all right, you see right here, Jacob, David, you had Moses, Solomon, those are southern kingdom of Israelite names, all right, so, the so-called Negroes here in America are the Israelites of the Bible that the Bible speaks of. Okay. But by you, Jamil Hill, saying that um, we don't have a late to stay on to support who we are, and by you, uh, Ebro, Ebro, all right, by not checking her, <laughs> you are displaying the same behavior of Esau, the so-called white man, who you accusing the average Israelite man, so-called black man, behaving like. All right? And they're not going to tell you, uh, Jamil Hill and uh, Ebro, they're not going to tell you the truth because they are part of Esau's system. And their job to keep Esau inferiority system, so-called white supremacy, all right, to keep it going. So uh, I'm I'm gonna end this. The mic been dropped. Shalom.